Hey, are we still on for dinner tonight? Uh, yeah, maybe. I I've got a lot going on, so I might be late. You've been late a lot lately, Hazel. I know, I know. It's just that Miss Bradford has me running around like crazy. But after this project, things should slow down. I promise. <sighs> you said that last time. This time I mean it. I'll make it up to you this weekend, okay? Sure. Yes, yes, I'm on my way. I'm almost there. Walking as fast as I can. Watch it! Oh! Oh, come on, move faster. I'll get that to you right away. Can you believe the deadline got moved up again? Hi, Marissa. Is she here? One moment. She's ready for you. You're late. I know. I'm so sorry. I came as fast as I could. I almost got hit by a taxi. If that taxi had hit you, at least I'd have an excuse for your tardiness. Let's hope this was worth the wait. Hmm? Marissa, come here. Give this to Steven to look over. I want feedback on my desk by tomorrow morning and no later. Now, obviously, the seasons are changing to fall, which means we need something reflective of that. Seasonal, but fresh. Fall is really just the transition to Christmas, which really brings in the money. Give me something good. Something maybe that can tug on heartstrings or wallets. Just make it acceptable. Find some inspiration or something. You understand, right? Uh... You have one week. One week? Oh, I'm sorry, is that not enough time? Do you need extra time to walk it over to me too? Or perhaps some wheels instead of feet? No, no, one week is fine. Good. Now go on. You're wasting my time just being in my presence. Ugh, why can't I think of anything? You could have at least given me some topics. Make it acceptable. Find something inspirational or something. Speak of the devil. Shoot! I'm here, I'm here. You're late, Hazel. I'm sorry, I lost track of time. I just got this new project and- I was starting to think you weren't coming. It won't happen again. We need to talk. I can't keep doing this. I'm always waiting for you. You're always busy, always running behind. And I feel like you're putting your job first over me. I can't keep waiting for you to show up. I'm trying. There's just been so much going on. There's always something going on. You don't have time for me. I'm sorry. I, I can work on it. This isn't working, Hazel. No, I, I can fix it. This cannot be fixed. You aren't going to change. Are you serious? I'm sorry, Hazel, but I just don't see this working anymore. It's best if we both go our separate ways. Wait, no, Chase, please. Goodbye, Hazel. He broke up with you? Yeah, I feel so bad. This project is just so overwhelming and I completely forgot what time it was. I'm sorry, Hazel, but honestly, it's not your fault that your work is so important to you. I know, but I just keep wondering, if I wasn't so focused on my work, would we have worked? Hey, listen, if Chase won't understand how important work is to you, then that's his problem, not yours. Maybe this was for the better. I wonder if I could have balanced it better. Maybe I'm only cut out for one or the other. You just need someone who gets it. Someone who will support your ambitions. I guess. I just... I wasn't ready for it to end like this. It happens so fast. Breakups are never easy, but you deserve someone who will wait for you. Thanks, Ava. That means a lot. Of course. And uh, about your project, you said it has to be something for a fall, right? Something interesting? Mm-hmm. 
There's a fall festival in my town that just opened up. Maybe taking a break from the big city would do you some good. I'll take you to the festival and you can see if you can get any inspiration from it. Being in a different environment might clear up your mind a little bit. You can at least get some portfolio shots. I don't know, Ava. I only have a week to get it done. All the better! I'll be with you every step of the way to make sure you stay on track. I'll be your manager slash therapist slash distraction eliminator. I'll make sure you stay focused. It really sounds like you need some sort of break from the chaotic city. I guess it's worth a shot. I just don't want to have a work-induced meltdown. If you do, you'll at least be around a cute pumpkin patch. I'll take your picture and label it artistic suffering. <laughs> You're impossible. I'll see you soon. Welcome to my town, Hazel. Hop in. The festival closes soon, but we can take a quick peek and then come back tomorrow to scout out the place. Sure, that works. I'm pretty tired from traveling anyways. This is so cute. Welcome! How many tickets? Two, please! Wow, there's a ton of stuff here to do. I think this will be great inspiration. Mm-hmm. Who's the best friend ever? You, you are right. That's what I like to hear. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. <laughs> it's alright. Did you guys just arrive? Hi. Yes, we did. We don't know what to do first. Well, welcome. I'm Will. I own the place. <laughs> Hi, Will. I'm Ava. I'm Hazel. Nice to meet you both. Please enjoy your time here, and feel free to come find me if you need anything. As for where to start, the old truck is a great photo spot. Oh, thank you. He seems nice. Mm-hmm. Let's check out the truck. So, what do we think of the festival so far? It's nice. I'm just not sure if it'll be enough. Miss Bradford is probably expecting something out of this world because of her gigantic expectations. This project has to be perfect. Being late hasn't been working in my favor lately either. You've got this! We'll make sure you find what you need and maybe something will spark. If I mess this up, Miss Bradford might have me packing my things. You're one of the most talented people I know. Miss Bradford is intense, but she wouldn't have kept you around this long if you weren't good at what you do. I hope that's the case. Sometimes taking a step back makes you see things from a different angle. <laughs> I guess literally in your case. You're right. Slowing down does actually regulate the system and take off stress. Thanks for being the friend that always has my back. Of course! I'm always rooting for you. I'm going to try and be more positive today. Keep an open mind. Good. Want a pumpkin spice latte to start off the day? Yeah, sure. Jeez, it's busy today. Everyone's gotta get their pumpkin spice fixed before Mariah Carey finishes defrosting. Oh, hey, Gavin. I didn't know you were a barista. I'm not a barista. I'm a broista. Get it right. <laughs> Can we get two pumpkin spice lattes, please? Of course. Want 10 espresso shots in it? Uh, I think we're good. Your loss. So, what's the plan for today? Mm, probably just some shots of the festival. Maybe some of the people doing activities. I'm doing an activity. I'm sipping my oh-so-lovely pumpkin spice latte. Get a shot of me. I'm perfect for the front page. <laughs> well, you are part of the local charm, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe just capturing the warmth of people who are here, you know? Miss Bradford did say heartstrings or wallets, but I'd rather focus on the heartstrings part. I'm sure you could get that. Hey, glad to see you're back at the festival today. How's it going? Oh, hey, Will. We're just getting our pumpkin spice fix before getting some snaps. Yeah, gotta be caffeinated. Did you take any pictures of that truck I mentioned? Actually, yes. You were right. It's a nice photo spot. May I see? Uh, sure. Oh, wow. These are great. You're a professional. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, don't forget to show Will my latte pick. Front page worthy, remember? <laughs> <laughs> and here's the one of Ava. A fantastic photo, right? <laughs> yes, quite the model. Well, I've got another great spot to show you if you'd like to model, Ava. Yes, do show. This way. Ta-da, what you think? 
Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Very funny. Hey, what can I say? It's a huge hit. Come on, try it. Here, I'll take the picture. You get in there too, Hazel. Got it. Oh, that turned out cute. Thank you. No problem. I'm going to grab something from the food tents. The kettle corn is calling my name. I'll be back in a sec. Don't have too much fun without me. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm guessing you're not from around here? What gives it away? The heels. Oh. You from the city? Mm-hmm. Not much of a talker, are you? Just a lot on my mind, I guess. You want to talk about it? It's just work stuff. Just a little intense lately. And then all of a sudden, I'm in a different city taking pictures with a cardboard cutout. I get that. This place is different than the big city, but I hope it treats you well. Heels and all. Mmm, this kettle kind of corn is delicious. By the way, Hazel, have you told Will the real reason why you're here yet? Real reason? <laughs> Just here for work. I have this marketing project due at the end of the week. What type of marketing project? Your festival. My festival? Well, I haven't had the chance actually to ask yet. My boss wants me to do this project for fall, but she was extremely broad on what I have to do. Ava mentioned the festival. So you're here to just take pictures for a project. This is just a job for you? I thought maybe we could work together on it. It would be a great advertisement for your place. I want to capture something meaningful, something that'll stand out from the rest. And you think this is the place to do that? Well, yes. I, I mean, if it's okay with you. Please say something. <sighs> Here's my offer. I will let you do this on one condition. I will work on this with you, but I also want you to enjoy it. Take a step back and see what's around you. This is your project, but it's also my festival. I want to make sure you enjoy it here. Got it? I'll try. You will. Haha, <laughs> will? You, you will? Get it? <laughs> Alright, deal. Yay! How about you come over tomorrow morning before I open up the festival for the day? I'll show you around before it gets busy. Do whatever you have to. Let's do it. Great. I'll see you tomorrow then, Hazel. There you are. Am I late? Not at all. Oh, okay, good. Uh, my camera's all charged up and ready. Great. Let's start over here. Every pumpkin's got a story. That's good marketing, right? <laughs> That's one way to put it. How about this one? What could be its story? Hmm, it does have a lot of character. It could star in a movie. <laughs> well, this pumpkin was born on a quiet farm, um, always dreaming of being the center of attention and the biggest pumpkin at the fall festival. It faced many challenges like being mistaken for a gourd. A gourd? The horror. Right, but it overcame it shining brightly, but not too brightly to the point where it gets all gross and squishy and rots. Until finally, it was the very special pumpkin chosen as the best pumpkin for the festival. Truly inspiring. Do you do this every year? The festival? Yes, it's my favorite time of the year. The transformation between summer and winter, the atmosphere just feels different, you know? I get that. Back in my city, there's a little bit of color, but all you see is buildings and whatever trees they added for a little bit of life. Do you like living in the city? Yes and no. I, I like the fast-paced atmosphere. Everyone seems productive and motivated, but everyone seems more irritable in the city. Being here is completely different. I forgot what it was like. You weren't always from the city? I grew up in a smaller town, but moved to my city for a job. What about you? Born and raised here. I enjoy being more around nature. The city's too much for me, too overwhelming. Everyone is laid back in this town and very friendly. <laughs> I guess we are opposites. Opposites do attract. What? What made you want to run a festival? Or a farm type thing? We always had a festival here in the town, but it was pretty small. My mom took me to it every year. I thought I would be the one to make it larger. What about your dad? Always working. Didn't really pay attention to his family. It still seems like he cared, but he just wasn't there or present in everything. Always taking phone calls or on business trips. 
You should get a picture over here. I wanted to build a place where you could escape from reality and enjoy the season. We do other activities for other seasons as well, but this one I go all out for. I just want to make everyone happy. That's really sweet of you. Whoa, a picture of me? Gonna have to charge you. <laughs> you looked happy, at peace. I wanted to capture that. Are those slides? Yep. One time, someone called them concussion slides, but uh, for legal reasons, we just say slides. That's concerning. They're fun, though. Want to try? As long as I don't break my neck, then sure. I'll make sure you don't. Wow, it looks much further down from this angle. Getting cold feet? <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. I've done scarier things. Like what? Moving to the big city by myself, surviving corporate meetings with my boss. Okay, I'll give you that. Two people can fit, so I'll go with you. So you don't break your neck, of course. Uh, okay. Hop on. Ready? Ready as I'll ever be. That was fun! Thanks. What type of photos are you thinking of next, or do you need a break after your brush with death? <laughs> I think I can survive a little more fun. I'll show you some more spots. These shots are great! Thank you for everything! No problem. The festival's opening now, but the last thing on the list is the corn maze. Care to try? I guess it can be a treat after working today. But if I get lost, I'm blaming you. Left or right? Don't you own this place? Aren't you the expert here? I made them change it every year to surprise me. Plus, I've never been great at remembering the exit. Let's split up and see who makes it out first. <laughs> You're on. Ready, set, go! You give up yet? Not one to give up! <laughs> <laughs> My bad. No, no, you're okay. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. <laughs> We might have overexposed the moment a bit, huh? Did you just say a photography pun after kissing me? Maybe, and I think we traumatized a kid too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back! I'm in the kitchen! How'd it go? It actually was really nice. Oh, looks like someone made a new friend! I had a nice time. He showed me the whole festival and I got some great pictures. <laughs> Did you get his number too? I mean, yeah, but just business stuff. Mm, right. You just got out of a relationship, though. Remember? <laughs> Might be a little early to jump back in, don't you think? No, I know, but... Oh, boy. Here we go. I feel like we did connect, though. He's just so... kind, I guess? Kind. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. You're, like, glowing. Oh. Did anything else happen? You seem flustered. Well... Oh my god, did you kiss? Well... You did, didn't you? We just had a moment, that's all. You barely know the guy. It just kind of happened. Didn't take you long to bounce back. I'm shocked too, but it all just felt kind of right. Well, good for you, Hazel. Everyone deserves a little spark, right? Just make sure you're not going to get hurt again. I know, I know. Thank you, Ava. I knew you'd get it. Hmm, yeah, I get it. I'm gonna go put my stuff away. I'll be back down in a little bit. Oh, also, I was gonna go back to the festival tomorrow while it was busy to get some more shots. Would you be interested in going? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll go with you. Great. <sighs> Ugh.
Hey, Ava, before we go in, I just want to ask, are you okay? What do you mean? You just didn't talk during the drive. Oh, yeah, no, I'm fine. Just tired. Oh, okay. If you need anything, just let me know, all right? Couldn't get enough of me, could you? Actually, I'm here to get shots of the festival while there are people here, and to do some interviews. So you're the famous photographer Will keeps talking about. He's been raving about you. Oh no, I hope it's all good things. Only good things? This is Nate. He's the magic behind the scenes. Yeah, and he's the guy that just takes all the credit. Nice to meet you. You're actually just the person I'm looking for to interview. Would you mind? Not at all. Sorry, hold that thought. Hello? I hope the project is doing well, because I needed a couple of days sooner. A couple of days? Oh, you know how things run around here. Tomorrow is your last day, wherever you are. But I'm not done. <sighs> that was my boss. Tomorrow's my last day. You are fired? Oh, uh, no. At least not yet. She wants the project sooner than I thought. <sighs> Typical. We'll make sure you get everything today then, so you'll have tomorrow to put it all together. Mm, all right. I guess I better get to it. I just gotta finish setting up the stage. We got a band playing tonight. Can I get shots of you setting up? Yeah, go for it. How do I look? Is this my good side? Wow, what a candid photo. Nate's been waiting for this moment his whole life. Hey, let the behind the scenes guy get his moment. Hey Will, you must get in one of the photos too. What's a festival without its owner, hmm? <laughs> Only if the photographer insists. Come on in. I'm going to wander the festival a little bit and see if I can interview some guests. And Nate, I'll leave you to your work and come back. Sounds good. Hey Hazel, before you go, I've got a question for you. What's up? Is this about... Not actually. I mean, yes, but no. Um, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out together before you head back to the city. Just the two of us. You mean like a date? What do you say? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I'd like that. Good. Meet me back here tonight, okay? At about closing time. Alright, I'll see you then. I have to work on this project a little bit before I come back, but I'll try to be on time. I'll wait however long it takes. Did you ask her? She said yes. That's my guy. Wow, you were not kidding about this place being busy. Yeah, it's the best coffee shop in town now. The owner was struggling for a bit, but suddenly, it was like she blew up overnight. Finally got herself a man, too. You were busy with all the interviews and stuff, but I was meaning to ask, uh, what did Will pull you aside for? Oh, he asked me out. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's great for you, Hazel. <laughs> Guess you've really made an impression on him, huh? <laughs> I guess so. I was nervous about getting into a relationship so soon after what Chase did, but Will's giving me space. He even told me he'd wait however long it takes if I were a little late tonight after working on the assignment. It really meant a lot. It's just a small town crush, right? Don't you think once you go back to the city, none of this will continue? What? Will is charming to everyone, you know? <laughs> um, well, we can try long distance. What if he doesn't want to? That's for him and me to discuss. Like I said, in the kitchen, just be wary. Of him or of someone else? I'm just looking out for you, Hazel. Mm-hmm. Thanks. I'm gonna use the bathroom before we go. Are you ready to head out? Mm-hmm. What? Where's the SD card? No, 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 I'm gonna be fired. The timing could not be worse. Hello, Miss Bradford? Is the project done yet? I need it sooner, remember? 
Uh, yes, yes, it's it's almost done. Just finishing up. Are you exercising? What? No, no, I, I mean, yes. Uh, I just finished a run and was gonna shower and work on the project. Mm-hmm. Just get it to me on time. Okay, okay, yes, I will. Will. Oh, shoot! I'm taking your car. Will, the date. Keys! Oh, right, thanks. Bye! Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Whoa, what's the rush? That excited to see me? Uh, yeah, sure. You good? Yep, yep, yes, just fine. Sorry, I thought I was running behind. I'm not, am I? You're right on time. Oh, thank God. You ready? What? You're awfully quiet tonight. Oh, sorry. What's on your mind? Is it that obvious? Yes. A lot. Like? Us? Is something wrong? No, no, it's... It's just... Ava mentioned me going back to the city when we were hanging out today. Mm-hmm. And, well, what if... What if we stopped talking? What do you mean? She said you are nice to everyone, and that when I move away, we'll drift apart. Do you want that? No. Do you? No. Ava saying I'm nice to everyone is just because I have to. I'm the owner. It's part of the job. You, you are who I'd like to be with. But what about when I leave? What if you don't want to do long distance? Who said I didn't? Actually, don't answer that. Look, I get that long distance can be scary, but I think what we have is special. It might be tough at first, but it's worth a shot, is it not? Really? Another pun? You know you love them. I can tell you have something to say. I was dumped before I got here. Oh. I just don't want it to happen again. You have nothing to worry about, Hazel. No matter what happens, we can keep this going, okay? <sighs> All right. Is that everything? Is there anything else? I'm missing my SD card. What? It's fine. It's fine. I'll stress about that later. It probably just fell into my bag or something. I'll look for it when I get back. I know I have it somewhere. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I want to enjoy this. Us. All right. How'd it go? We talked. Oh no! I'm so sorry, Hazel. What? No, no, he said we can work through it. He's willing to try. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm really relieved about that. Now, I just have to find my SD card. It's not in my camera for some reason. It's always there. Have you seen it? No, no, I haven't. Are you sure it's not on your computer or in your bag or something? I'm gonna check, but I never misplace stuff. It's just so weird. I'm sure you'll find it. Ugh, it's nowhere! Where the heck is it? I wonder if it's at the coffee shop. They're closed by now. Okay. Hazel, just get some rest, at least try to, and then go to the shop tomorrow. It's probably there. I'm sure they have it in case I come back. It's okay. You'll find it. You'll find it. You're not gonna give up on this. I'm gonna go run some errands. Where is he? Will. Oh, hi Ava. What's up? Where's Hazel? We need to talk. Uh, okay. About what? If Hazel keeps her job after this project, she's going to have too much going on to be with you. So, you have a choice. Her SD card. You took it? 
This job means so much to her. Probably even more than you. What? Be with me, break up with her, and I'll give her the SD card back. It'll just appear back in her room. But I don't want to be with you. I want to be with Hazel. Then I guess I have to break the card. No, there has to be another way. There is no other way, Will. You're her friend, Ava. Why would you do this? Hazel knew I was interested in you. Like, hello? I was literally flirting with you right in front of her, and she didn't even care. Hazel doesn't seem like that type of person, Ava. Well, she is. So what's it gonna be, Will? Any day now, Will! She's got somewhere to be, remember? Why can't you just be honest with her? She's distracted, and always will be. But you and me? We could be great together, Will. More than you and her ever would. She's got a career. She'll be fine. That's all she focuses on anyway. This is about you trying to control her life. How is that fair to your friend? Hazel has dreams like anyone else. Why would you want to take that away from her? I gave her this project idea. I deserve something in return. That's not how friendships work, Ava. You don't get to keep score and cash in on something whenever you feel like it. Pick your choice, Will. It's me or the SD card gets it. <sighs> this project means so much to her. I can't be the one to take that away from her. She deserves the job, and she has such a passion for it. It sounds like your decision is made then, hmm? Good. Now call her. Right now? How else am I supposed to make sure you don't go behind my back? I'm only doing this because I care about Hazel. Put it on speaker! Hi Will, I still haven't found the SD card, but I'm gonna try that coffee shop. Hazel? I think it might be there. I hope it is. Hazel! Yeah? Hazel, listen, there's something I need to tell you. Did you find it? No. Oh, what's up? I, um, I wish this was easier to say, but I don't think I can be with you. Wait, what? We just talked about that last night. I know, I know, Hazel. This isn't what I wanted either. Will, this doesn't make any sense. I thought you were on the same page. I, I thought you wanted this too. I'm sorry, Hazel. Wait, no, Will! Goodbye, Hazel. <laughs> that wasn't so hard now, was it? I did what you wanted. Now give her the SD card. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't you worry. I mean it. Relax. I'll take care of it. Thank you. Hey there, what can I get you? Hi, I, I'm so sorry, I'm not here to buy anything. By any chance, did anyone return a lost SD card to you? I'm a photographer and the SD card has almost my whole project on it. Oh, you're the person who was with their friend, right? With a camera on the table? Yeah, yeah, just a day or so ago. About that, I don't want to stir up trouble, but there's a slight chance the friend you were with may have taken it from the camera. I believe I saw her holding the camera when you got up. That's all I saw since I had customers to attend to, but I hope that helps. Whoa. I... Wow. Um, thank you. Ava! How could you? What? You know exactly what you did. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, shut up! You took my SD card, didn't you? Me? How could you think that? Stop playing dumb with me! I know you did it! Why would I want your SD card, Hazel? Don't lie to me! The owner of the coffee shop saw you with my camera when I got up. You took it! Just admit it! Ugh, fine! Yes, I took it! But I was doing you a favor! A favor? By stealing my work? You've been so obsessed with this project that you've forgotten what matters here! Me! And our friendship! And Will? He's too good for you to just walk away after all of this. You're the one who told me to come here and try out the festival. You. You said you were going to help me through this, and now look at you. You knew I liked Will, and then you took him from me! Was it not obvious? Obvious? You flirt with everyone. How was I supposed to know? And it's not like I came here looking for a relationship. 
We just clicked. That's all. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I came here for a refresh. I didn't expect anything else to happen. If I had known you were serious about him, I would have respected that. But how was I supposed to know if you never told me? Ugh. Oh, please. Like, I'd have to spell it out for you, Hazel. We've been friends for so long, I thought you knew me. Just because you're blind to other people's feelings doesn't mean they're not there. I'm not blind, Ava. I thought we were friends, but friends don't steal from each other and then hold it over their heads like a weapon. That ST card? It's my work. My future. My income. And you thought it was okay to use it to manipulate me? This isn't what friends do, Ava. You're so wrapped up in your work, Hazel, that you just can't see what's right in front of you. Don't. Don't you dare start saying that to me. I came to you after the breakup with Chase, and now you go and use his words? Are you kidding me? So, Ava made you break up with her? Dang, man. I didn't want to risk her job. You just and now you go and use his words. Of you. Do you hear yelling? Uh, I have a behind the scene project thing I have to work on. You, uh, you'll have to take care of that. Hazel? Ava took my SD card. That's why you broke up with me, wasn't it? Hazel, I'm sorry. She said if I ended it with you, she would give it back. I didn't want you to lose your job for me. Your happiness meant more. Why didn't you tell me over the phone? She was holding it over water. I had to. She made it sound like it was the only way to get you the card back. You work so hard for your job, and I'd rather lose someone I love than lose something that they care about. Love? You... you love me? I... I didn't know. I didn't want it to come out like this, but yes, I care about you. Enough to want what's best for you, even if that meant letting you go. And if it means having to wait for you, then I... will. Oh my gosh, not another pun. Couldn't resist. Hazel! Will! I'm so sorry, I... Wow, I'm such a bad friend. You just... you're always so busy with work. And then you met Chase, and I thought I'd lose you. And then you broke up, and I thought it was my chance to hang out with you more. I thought you'd have more time for me. That's one of the reasons why I invited you here. It was to spend more time together. I was selfish and insecure when you met Will. I was scared I was gonna lose you again. Ava, you never lost me. We are always apart now that we've graduated high school. I miss my best friend. I don't want to talk to you about how I felt because I was scared of what you would say. I thought I'd be a burden to you, but I ended up hurting you instead. I understand, Ava, but you practically gave me a heart attack by taking that card. Which, by the way, um, can I have that back? Oh, right. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry if I got in the way. I didn't mean to take her away from you, Ava. Hey, it's no worries. You can't stop love. All I want is for Hazel to be happy. I just got a bit carried away. More than a bit? <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry. Thank you, Ava, for apologizing. Just because our lives may be shifting doesn't mean our friendship has to end, okay? I'll be honest about my feelings moving forward. No more hiding. So, are we good? We're good. So, Ava, this means I don't have to go out with you now, right? What? <laughs> so, we mentioned getting carried away, right? I'll explain that later. But, to answer your question, no you don't. And, again, sorry about that. Then I have a question for you, Hazel. When you're done with your project, will you go out with me? <laughs> You've got to stop. But yes, I would love to. But this time, you come to the city. I want to show you around. Deal. Now let's go. We have a project to finish. <laughs> let's go, Hazel. I'm coming. Looks like I showed up right on time. Missed all the arguing. We worked it out. Everything's good? Better than ever. You're... early.
Well, let's get on with it. Thank you for your time, everyone. I'd like to introduce you to Fall for Love, a breath of fresh air. was a whole on accident. Let's try that again. We don't want her to get hit. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh my god. What? You hit the curb. Typical girl move. Actually, no. Just stay like that. It's fine. Oh. Crash into a kid. Oh my god. That's a bougie kid. My goodness. Ah, oh, the camera. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. That was so fun. Did you guys see that? And then they go down the slide. Wee. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I can't see. I am upside down. Oh my God. Dude, I love the concussion slides. They're so fun. Wow, guys, what an amazing slide. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. What? Ain't no way. Dude, that's so cute. Bless you. I promised everybody after the scene was over that we're gonna go on the concussion slides. So everybody head up to the concussion slides. Slide. Oh, oh my god. Everyone's gonna go backwards, okay? Go! Why is this so entertaining? Like, it just never gets old. 